In the last part, we created a tic-tac-toe game in which you can play versus a human player. But now our goal is to implement the AI so you can actually play against him and to see how the AI works. So before we get into code, I just want to explain to you visually what the Minimax algorithm is. Let's take a look at an example of Minimax. This is the current board state and X is to move. We assign a score to each position and we value winning the most. So X is called the maximizing player as he wants to maximize his score and pick the move with the highest score, while at the same time O is called the minimizing player as he wants the lowest possible score. And that's where we got the name Minimax. So our algorithm will check every position, every possible position, assign scores to it and pick the one with the best score. Okay, in here we have a simulation of how our game will play out. So our program will pick every possible move, so every uh, empty space, it will put an X there and then branch out, play the game out, and it will play the move with the highest score. And the opponent wants to minimize our score and play the move with the lowest score. And now, as you can see, we will choose the middle branch because we have a win there. So we have a win in one move. And that's pretty much it. So our program recursively goes to each possible position and just picks the best move. So a move that will w lead to a win or it will lead to a draw if a win is not possible. Okay, so last time we created a game where you can play versus your friend or you can play versus yourself. But now we actually want to implement the stuff we learned about Minimax. So let's get right into it. As we said, we want to maximize our score, so we start with a low score and we'll delete this. So we start with a low score and we'll say best score is equal to minus 1000. It does really matter, you just need to pick a real low score. And we'll say best move is equal to some random move. Well, zero doesn't actually exist because our positions go from 1 to 9. But it can be anything, it doesn't matter because we will change it, we just need to initialize it to something. And then, as I said, we need to go over each possible move. So for each key in board keys, what do we want to do? We want to say if board key is equal to an empty space, so if the position is empty, and as we said, we want to go over each empty move, we want to play that move, so board of key becomes bot, uh, bot is x, as you can see here. And then we want to determine the score, and the score is equal to our minimax function, which we still haven't implemented, so board, zero and false, and I'll explain the minimizing uh, minimax function later. And then we want to revert what we did, so we can actually play the next move. We just care about the score from the move, but we will actually play the move later. So we want to put it empty again. And if the score was higher than the best score, we want to say best score. So we change the best score to score and best move to key, because that's the move we played. And then at the end, we exit from the loop and we say insert letter bot and which move, well, the best move we found. And then we just return. Okay. And now we just need to define our minimax function and we are done. So the way we do that is like this. We say, okay, let's define minimax with, we need the current board state. Okay. We need the depth and we need to know if we are maximizing or minimizing as, as I explained earlier. So is maximizing, this is a Boolean value. Okay. So we need the current board state. We don't really need the depth here because this is simple tic-tac-toe. You can only go to like nine moves. So in those complicated scenarios, you need to use the depth because you want to stop at a certain depth because there are thousands and thousands of moves, but that is not the case for tic-tac-toe. So just ignore it. You can, you can actually write this without the depth, but I put it in. 
So the first thing you want to do in any recursion program is you need to find a terminal state in which you exit the recursion. But for that we actually need to know which player has won. So we'll need a little help function which you can just copy and paste because it is actually the same as this one here. But we just pass in this parameter. So I'll just paste it here because it's really long. Everything's the same except this mark and we don't have this here but we have the mark and this actually turns which player has won so if you like pass the x and it returns true that means that that player has won okay and now we can actually use that to find out which player has won and it will be useful in our minimax and the way we write minimax is so if check which mark won and you say bot first or player first doesn't really matter we return one and elif check which mark won if it's the player okay we want to return minus one because if you are playing a bot and you are going to win, you want to give yourself a high reward. Well, we can actually put this to 100 or minus 100. It doesn't really matter in a simple game like tic-tac-toe. So if you're going to win, you want to return 100. But if the enemy is going to win, you want to return minus 100. So you know that that move you're going to make is a bad move. And now and the last thing is check draw and in this case we want to return um okay just a second we want to return zero like this so now we have our terminal states and now we can determine who is winning and the next thing we want to do is we just want to determine which player is now playing so if we are maximizing of course we want to take the score with the highest move so again we we just actually want to do this so we can actually copy this but up until here so like this copy so if you are maximizing if you're playing as a computer again we want to say okay we want the low best score we don't actually need this best move because we just want to return the score now and we want to play the move here so again for each possible position find me a best score again until you reach the terminal state so we do it like this and we can delete this and again when you exit you just want to return the best score but now the fun thing about minimax is that the computer actually plays against itself so it doesn't wait for your move, it rather plays the game out playing with itself. And now, because we are not maximizing, as you can see here, when we first call it, we say false. And when we call it again, we say false. Why? Because when we play it here, we call this method minimax, and it will actually skip this condi condition and go to this block, so else, because we are not maximizing this was the maximizing moment and now we want to minimize so every time you are maximizing you want to minimize and we do it like this in here every time you're minimizing you want to go to maximizing as you can see and now we we take the highest score because we want the lowest score so best score here is a really low score but everything else stays the same and now these two so this this is our bot and this is the enemy bot these two will play the game out until somebody won so if we win or the other player wins or it's a draw these two players so this one and this one because of this false and true will play the game out until until it's over and depth doesn't really matter we can just put it to zero and that's it our bot should actually work now and let's give it a shot and as always in programming we have a small error this should say dot keys so not key but keys
and it's in the computer mode. So just fix this error if you haven't already and let's rerun the program and now it doesn't work again because we need to put S here. Okay, once we added those S two keys, uh, the program should work as you can see here. First we print the empty board and then the computer actually plays the move using our minimax function, which is nice and now we can play a game against it. So let's play five, let's play always played for the middle. Now let's block him and let's play four and this should be a draw now. And you, as you can see it works. So let's rerun and let's try to lose, okay. So he takes some time for the first move because he actually needs to play out all the moves and all the games. Okay, and let's play a losing move. So let's play two. And we already lost. So if I play in the seven, he plays in the middle. And now whatever I play, we just lose. And as you can see, the bot wins. So congratulations. You have just created an unbeatable tic-tac-toe bot using minimax algorithm. If you have any questions feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll see you in the next video. If you enjoy my videos make sure to support the channel by subscribing.